This is the bucket brigade. Delay. This is the bucket brigade. Delay. Delay. This is the bucket brigade. We make your audio fade away. Hey, this is the bucket brigade. Hey, this is the bucket brigade. Delay. Delay. This is the bucket brigade. We make your audio fade away. Delay. Delay. This is the bucket brigade. brigade. This is the bucket brigade. Delay. Delay. Hey, bucket brigade. We make your audio fade away. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. So once again, Chris and Adam from Audio Damage has put out a pretty awesome little audio unit extension plugin. It's called Rat Shack and it's actually a recreation, a emulation of the old Radio Shack realistic electronic reverb. Now, the thing is that this thing works with stereo signals. And if you wanted to do that with the real thing, you actually had to get two because the realistic electronic reverb was actually a mono unit. The Rat Shack Reverb 3 sounds excellent and Audio Damage has really managed to capture what the original realistic electronic reverb unit sounds like in stereo, mind you. Now, in order to really grasp what it is that the Audio Damage guys had to emulate here, let's have a look at the original unit and what it actually is. Now, the funny thing about the realistic electronic reverb is that it's not a reverb, it's a delay unit, a BBD delay unit and BBD stands for Bucket Brigade Device. Yes, 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 the actual delay circuit works like a line of firefighters passing off water-filled buckets to one another, adding a delay with each bucket transfer. And so in a BBD delay unit, the water is the sound you feed into it. Now, of course, in an electronic analog circuit, there are no firefighters or buckets. No, these would actually be the capacitors. You see, the capacitor has an ability to store and hold an electrical charge before it shoots it out again. And you can actually control the time it takes before it shoots it out again. Now, depending on how many of these capacitor stages you have inside a BBD delay circuit, well, the amount of them sets the actual amount of delay time you can get out of a circuit. So with 4000 of these stages, you'll get about 400 milliseconds of delay. So each of these buckets or each of these capacitors keeps getting refilled and then emptied out and refilled and emptied out and you could imagine that when you have a load of these, if you actually would have a load of firefighters doing this with a bucket, well you can imagine how much water they would spill on the way. And the same thing happens with the capacitors, they will spill electrical charge in between each transfer. Stuff like this will introduce distortions and filterings and all of that adds up to a very specific sound output when you pass your sound through a circuit like this. Now when it comes to a BBD chip circuit design, I'm only giving you a very simplistic explanation of how it really works. There's actually more stuff going on inside a BBD chip. Usually these units pack a compressor and filters. And these units are here to make the sound sound good, to put it simply. It goes to say, without this extra added circuitry within the chip, well, the final delay output would sound really, really shitty. 
Now, the audio damages Rat Shack Reverb 3 doesn't sound shitty. No, it sounds great because, uh, well, personally, I love that old retro fuzz type sound that this unit has, which it should have since it is an emulation of the realistic electronic reverb. Hey, this is the bucket brigade. Hey, this is the bucket brigade delay. This is the bucket brigade. We make your audio fade away. Now the Ratchet doesn't have that many controls, and so it's very easy to operate. So right here we have five faders, and the first one is called Microphone. When you turn this up, you will introduce clipping into your audio. You'll get more of a distorted sound because it actually boosts the incoming signal. Now you do have a bypass mode for this. It's right here to the right, it's called mic line. And when you switch this over to line, you'll bypass the microphone stage and you'll get a clean signal out. Next, we have the delay time controls, delay left and delay right. And so these can be set independently to have different delay times on either channel. Plus they can also be linked together with the switch right here called L and R link. And when you switch this on, you're effectively linking up the delay left and delay right faders and they will move as one. Next, we have the repeat fader. And this is basically like your run of the mill delay feedback control. Next, we have the depth control, which works kind of like a blend or mix control between the uh, original signal and the affected signal. Lastly, we have the on-off switch and it works as an on-off switch for the effect. So in the off mode, the effect is completely bypassed and your audio will just run through cleanly without getting affected. Okay, so what I really like about Rat Shack is how dirty you can get your sound without really destroying it. So I'm just gonna amplify with the microphone here a little bit and it's starting to sound really nice let's add a little bit of delay to this yeah it sounds really good okay so let's get it down real short yeah okay there we go let's add the repeats and now we get like a metallic reverb and just get up uh, oh yeah there we go. Now, now we're in Wonderland. You know, something I find extremely um, interesting is how we humans keep feeding a lot of money into research, furthering science and technology. And here we are in 2018 and Audio Damage has just released an app that emulates something that Radio Shack started selling back in 1982. And not only that, the actual BBD technology is even older. It was created by Philips Research Labs back in 1969. Now, so many years has passed, it's 2018 and you can still purchase BBD chips. There are a load of BBD type circuit schematics out there. If you've ever wondered if you want to go into, you know, doing some DIY electronics yourself for musical purposes, well, then why not start building a BBD delay type effect? The chips are cheap and Google can pretty much tell you everything you need to know to get started. By the way, here's a little fun fact for you. Did you know that flangers, phasers, and chorus effects are basically just delay effects? That's right, you're delaying the signal in certain specific ways, moving them around, moving the face around for a phaser, and the BBD chip has been used in many other effects by many other companies to create these various effects. So BBD chips can be found inside effect pedals from Ibanez, Boss, and Electric harmonics, just to name a few. You 
you know, I really like the unit and especially for this microphone level thing here, well, <laughs> it kind of distorts the mid-range frequencies in a very nice way. And so I like using it to gritify my vocals. Now I talk as if I've had this for quite some time and I haven't. I've only used it for a few hours, but that's the thing. I just fell in love with it. It distorts my vocals in just the right way, which is great if you want to gritify your vocals as I mentioned earlier, or just oldify them. Now, Ratchak doesn't even cost that much either. It's pretty cheap, N not, ch not cheap. It's pretty inexpensive. So you could definitely afford adding this useful little tool to your audio toolbox. I have to keep giving it up to Audio Damage because they keep bringing the best of the best. They're just amazing in what they do and their plugins, well, in my arsenal of plugins, the Audio Damage stuff is what I use the most, especially when I produce inside Cubasis. Of course, you don't have to use Cubasis as long as your DAW or your host app can support audio unit extensions, you can load up Ratchack Reverb even though it's really a delay. As usual, I've put an app link down in the description so you can go grab Ratchak from the App Store yourself. Now stay tuned here on Hack Attack because I'm working on a load of interesting videos, like a deep review of something. Um, that, that doesn't tell you much, I know. But I'm also working on the Spectrum Analyzer video. I did mention it a, a little while ago and I thought it would take me like maybe a week. It's gone two or three weeks now and it's probably gonna take more than that. And I can't really say when. So it, it might even be a month before I get it out. I just wanna make sure that I get all my information correctly. So I'm having to research every little bit that I've written down that I've memorized over the years about spectrum analysis and how they work um about yeah you yeah i think you get it by the way two weeks ago hack attack turned four years yes that's me making these videos uh, hack attacks and stuff like that for four years here on youtube i just want to thank you so much for supporting me for all these years and thank you thank you for commenting and pushing the thumbs up and talking about me and referencing me remixing my tracks and stuff like that it just feels amazing i mean it's been an amazing journey journey it's been an amazing journey it's it's kind of pushed me um, to develop uh, what I do to um, further my skills at making videos, to make better content for you. Well, you viewers is the reason why I started making the docutorial format. The docutorial is basically like a tutorial together with a documentary. So they usually contain uh, an interview made with the developer or me talking about the origins of a specific product that an app is trying to emulate or stuff like that. And then together with that, I also push in a little bit of tutorials in there and then some music demos. So I call it a docutorial. I think it's a nice phrase to coin. Co coin? It's a nice phrase to coin. So if you want to help me further, you know, for maybe another year of Hack Attack, then pushing that thumbs up is really, really helpful because it tells YouTube that my videos are good and relevant and um, it helps my videos getting pushed out to more and more people. So when you hit that, you're helping me a whole lot. Now, if you want to help me financially, then you can use Patreon, which I do recommend. I have a lot of patrons already there and you're all amazing, you who decided to join up like that and support me financially. Um, before you join, you should just know that it's not like I'm super active on Patreon. I basically make a post sometimes to update Patreons what I'm working on, especially when I haven't posted a video for a week or something like that. Then my patrons will find out what I'm actually doing. So those are locked posts that only Patreons can see. So if that's something that you viewers who aren't patrons might be interested in, then why not join up? And if you don't want to do Patreon, then you have PayPal, you can do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that. And if you want something more tangible, like instantly for your money, if you want to help in a financial way, then go to my Bandcamp, check out my Mellow Tracks. I've just finished, I've just finished my ninth track 
um, and uh, it's not published yet because I'm gonna be working on the video. My album is gonna be 10 tracks long and as soon as that's done, I am going to make sure that that album is gonna go out on Spotify, on uh, iTunes, uh, you know, services like that. Just want my music to be available to anyone who wants it uh, through their own personal favorite listening type uh, aggregator. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be soon. I, I did say like a long time ago that if I made an album now, since I'm doing videos, it would take me a year and it almost has. It's almost taken me a year to finish uh, this album. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Now, as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. This is the bucket brigade delay. This is the bucket brigade delay. This is the bucket brigade. We make your audio fade away. Hey, this is the bucket brigade. Hey, this is the bucket brigade delay.